If you are installing the AC for the first time, be careful to get the right steps done so that your AC works fine for many many years. And also be aware of the correct installation charges as few installation guys may charge higher as well. In this video, I will be sharing the complete step by step process of installation. I will be sharing the complete details of installation cost and also best AC to buy in 2023. Let's get started and welcome to a to Z construction channel. So I have purchased this uh, 2 ton uh, LG AC uh, because my room is slightly bigger. It's around 220 square feet. So why LG? I'm going to share towards the end. Inside the outdoor AC unit box, make sure you have two copper tubes which are 3 meter long. Now these copper tubes are going to be used to connect uh, your outdoor unit and the indoor unit. So this is how the outdoor unit looks which is great and uh, it also has a great finishing. And in fact, this is more than what I expected. So let me show you how exactly the outdoor unit is going to be uh, fixed and then I'll show you the uh, indoor unit. So along with the installation kit you get this uh, pipe as well so these are the copper pipes okay so i'll show you once it is open and you'll also get this uh, cable so make sure in the box you have all these three items as well So now what they have done is, uh, this is the power cable and two copper uh, tubes that are there. They have put a protective tape on top of it. So in the AC box you also get a remote and you also get a, a user manual as well. Okay. So they would also have uh, two batteries also. So now uh, they are going to make the marking for fixing the AC indoor unit. And again uh, make sure they leave at least around 3 to 4 inches at the top. Okay, so there should be at least uh, that gap. Now once uh, the marking is done, they are going to drill the holes and fix this. First most important thing, when they install the indoor AC unit, make sure that it is 2 to 3 degree inclined downwards where the drain pipe is there. So that you don't see any water leakage inside the room. So just like the way it is shown in the diagram. To connect the indoor and the outdoor AC unit with the help of copper tubes and the cable, they need to drill a hole. So where the pipes are going to go out along with the tubes. Uh, again, they can drill a hole using a normal uh, drilling machine as well, but it might uh, damage the wall sometimes. So what I did is I called for this core cutting uh, where they are going to drill a 3 inch uh, hole. Now certainly this is not going to damage uh, the wall so much. Uh, so this is how the core cutting happens and again this is the extra additional cost if you want to get this done. So this costed me around 1500 rupees uh, for uh, getting this uh, hole drilled. Again the price may vary from uh, 1000 to 1500. Even if you don't go for this core cutting it's completely okay. They are just going to drill a hole and they are going to pass both the copper tubes and uh, electrical cable from that. Now after that what they are going to do is they are going to cover uh, all the damaged part with the help of a white cement. That's how they usually do. So the core cutting is done now. So let me show you how exactly the hole has been drilled now. Now if you see on the other side right at the top there right you can see there is a uh, properly cut 3 inch hole and uh, they get this complete uh, piece itself uh, from that okay core cutting is not mandatory if you want to get a good finishing in that case you can do that since the AC outdoor unit is going to be placed on the roof uh, we had to cut this uh, tile roof 
so this is the method that we followed but certainly it just broke the tile below that as well okay but again we were able to manage uh, with that as well <laughs> At times, the AC installation guys may miss this step, which is very, very important step that is vacuuming your AC as well. Now, this process is going to remove all the air that is going to be there in the copper tubes so that once your AC starts running, there is no moisture which might affect your AC performance as well. So please, please remember this important step. Many AC installation guys actually miss this step because customers are not aware of it. But it is your responsibility to make sure that you are going to get this step done as well. In fact, right on the outdoor AC unit, they have clearly mentioned that the vacuum has to be done. Now again, this process may take anywhere around uh, 15 to 30 or 40 minutes time. Now the vacuum machine has been started and the process is going on. You need to make sure that the pressure is going to minus 30 PSI. Now this can take anywhere around 15 minutes to 30, 35 minutes. So once that is done and when the vacuum machine is turned off, allow this connection to be there for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and see if the pressure drops. If there is a pressure drop, it indicates that there is some air leakage within the tubes that are connected. If there is no pressure drop, then that indicates that there is no air leakage. Okay. 
so now this is almost coming to end so we'll run this for a couple more minutes and remove So with the help of uh, shampoo, they are checking if there is any leakage uh, in the connections. So this is an important step to make sure everything works uh, fine. So this is where the wiring is so you can see this is the power cable and this one is from uh, outdoor unit to indoor unit copper pipe and this is from indoor unit to outdoor unit uh, copper pipe. So now they are covering all the holes with the white cement so this is something that they do towards the end. So the reason why I ordered this AC is this is very uh, silent so it does not make uh, too much of noise so you can just uh, try to hear the sound right now. Right you literally don't uh, hear much noise so that's one beauty of uh, LG AC and again the cooling is also very very fast so again I have given the product link in the description certainly you can just click on that and purchase this product as well. So this is how the remote looks which is very neat and uh, elegant as well. Uh, this is the power on and off button and again you have uh, different controls here. So this comes with uh, 6 in 1. So they have uh, 6 different modes that are available and one of the most powerful one is the Virat mode. If you put your AC on Virat mode it can cool your room uh, very very fast. So this is how the remote looks as well. Now let me show you the complete installation charges. Now here you got to be really careful because at times they might charge you more as well. Now the regular installation uh, charges for this is uh, 1415 that is including of GST and again uh, we needed one uh, 3 pin uh, for that socket so that costed around uh, 100 rupees. Now let me just uh, go outside and show the other accessories that were used. So you see the water drain pipe that is here so i wanted that to be uh, certainly a bit longer now this costs around 82 rupees per meter again be careful they might try to charge you more for this as well it is around 82 rupees per meter okay that's something that you can uh, consider as well now the other thing is the outdoor unit mounting bracket so this costs around 885 rupees with all the accessories and the installation cost, uh, it came to around 3000 rupees uh, for me to get this installation done. Hi, I am Sriram Menur here. 
why did I go for a three star AC and not a five star power efficient AC? In fact, before ordering this, I was totally confused. Should I go for three star or a five star AC? Should I go for one, 1 1.5 or 210 AC? Which brand to choose? Now, after doing a lot of research, I understood this thing. The major difference between three star and five star AC is the amount of power that it is going to consume, which can save your electricity bill as well. In fact, I use AC only during the summers. So that's maybe uh, for around three to five months maximum. No matter how much power I save, the additional investment that I would be making for five star AC, I felt it might not be so good as well because the price difference between three star and five star AC for 1.5 ton AC is roughly around 7,000 to 8,000 rupees. So I felt that is something additional expense. If you're somebody who is going to use AC extensively, in that case, you can go for five star. If not, three star is also good. Why did I go for LG? There are two major brands that I finalized before ordering this. One was LG and second was Panasonic. In fact, Panasonic was also fantastic. Uh, if I had other choice to uh, order the AC, then it would be Panasonic. Why did I go for LG then? The only reason is the amount of noise that a LG AC makes. So this makes only around 32 decibels of noise, whereas Panasonic, it's anywhere around 38 to uh, 40 decibels, right? So that's where I felt this is more silent AC. So let me go for this. Now, if you talk about uh, Panasonic, there is a great advantage if you want to go for Panasonic where like they also have a mobile app if you want to control things from your mobile as well. Both of them also had a great uh, reviews. Both LG had around a rating of 4.2 and Panasonic around 4.3. So they both are amazing. Those were the two that I finalized. I've given both LG and Panasonic uh, product links in the video description. They both are amazing ACs. If you want to pick up that, you can certainly pick that up as well. I've given for both the 110, 1.5 ton and 210 AC as well. Thank you. If you have any questions related to this, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer. If you want to understand more on how to choose the right AC for your specific needs, just click on this info link to watch a complete video on that. Again, if you have any questions, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Again, all the product links have been given in the video description. Thank you and see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye for now.